Oh, it's freezing. Right. Let's wait for a couple of people to log on. Just a couple. Freezing weather. Okay. Can you believe the information that I've just been given? So, time goes on, time goes on. You know, we find out about the Brexit deal. We find out about everything. And then no one's doing anything. No one's putting out any marches. No one's doing anything. So Tommy, Gerard decide that the best thing to do is is to get something moving for, for the people. Today, a minute ago, I was just being sent that leave means leave have decided to call a rally. Call a rally and after the vote goes through Parliament, so it doesn't matter if, you know, if they approve it and we have a rally, it's going to change nothing. It's going to do nothing, you know, because the, the, the vote's been done. And believe it or not, if you wanted to attend that rally, you have to pay to go. So they're not just trying to undermine Gerard Batten and Tommy and all the people that are involved in this, because all the organisations, this isn't about Tommy, all about UKIP, they're all the organisations, groups um, that are, are part of this, they are trying to make money out of us. So they've undermined Tommy and Gerard for calling a great betrayal march, and now they want to charge you. £21 going to cost you. So if you travel from up north, and it's, you know, full Christmas, and you've spent a few hundred, you know, maybe £100 on travel and all costs, it's then if there's four of you, it's going to cost you £80 to get into the rally. This just shows that these people are not with us. These are not for the people. These people are not for the people. They are about elite status. They're about making sure that they keep their, 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 this little mojo going for them. If they wanted to call a rally to fight against the corruption, the lies that have been told towards Brexit and to all the other issues, why are they charging people to go to a rally? And why are they not calling it before the Brexit deal goes through Parliament? Please, please get the word out it is now even more important that we all turn up on the 9th free of charge and you all turn up together with the flags with all the banners and we come together no matter I, listen this is not a tommy robinson march this is not a ukip march this is not a far right march this is nothing to do with racism this is purely all the organisations, all the issues surrounding Brexit, surrounding the, the you know the, the girl, the young girl situation, regarding all the veterans that are living on the streets that are not being helped, all the corruption that's coming out of the out of, out of the community uh, out of the Westminster. Everyone needs to come out in force for this one, because if no one turns up on the fourteenth, I think it is for the leave means leave after the vote's been done on the Monday, they're then going to do a rally that would change nothing. Okay? If we put enough pressure on that day, but and they realise that, that all these people are here because we have not given them what they voted for, it does not matter at all what happens on that 14th. And I want to make sure that Nigel Farage is seen for exactly what he is. Trying to make money out of us before Christmas. A month before Christmas, trying to make money out of normal, hard-working individuals. So it's not, it's not even the fact that, that we've lost the Brexit, uh, Bre Brexit uh, deal because it's not what we voted for. We're now going to, to attend something to make a voice about the fact that we've lost it. We've then got to pay to go to a rally. I'm absolutely 100% shocked. Okay. I expected something, but I didn't expect this. Money. They want our money to turn up 
and criticise our democratic vote that we voted for we didn't get. What a snaky move. Please, go on to the Leave Means Leave page. Go on to that post about talking about the rally and make sure you put your voices on there about what you think about this. Why would you call a rally after the vote went through Parliament? And why would you charge people? It's unbelievable. This is now even more important that we all turn up to show Nigel Farage, who is now part of the elites. A few years ago, Nigel Farage, I believe, my opinion, he was for the people. He, could, he was sort of on our level a little bit. He's obviously been paid a lot of money because... If you think about the amount of noise he made about the Brexit, about the Brexit, uh, um, about getting the referendum, how much noise he made about the Brexit referendum, and we got that. To then know, to then know that we're not getting that deal, to come out, the first thing he comes out with is to criticise uh, criticise Tommy and criticise uh, Gerard Batten for calling a demo. You should have done it. You should have called a demo. You should have been at the top of the, the top of that, that stage with anyone that's willing to stand there and to say, put everything aside for a second. Nigel Farage was called racist, far right and a bigot until people started realising that all he was doing was trying to do something right for the people. And now he's gone so far left into the Conservatives. I personally think that what he's done is he has realised that UKIP are now with with the people with Tommy, with Gerard, with all the, the real people. And he knows that he needs to, he wants to be in power. He wants to be the Mr. Big Big Man. So he knows conservatives. He wants to he's probably been offered a job within the Conservatives. That's my my, my opinion. I reckon after all this ki- kicks off and uh, and Theresa May's been kicked out, that he's going to get a job within uh, within there. So, listen, go on to the Leave Means Leave uh, thing. Leave a comment on there. Make sure you make them aware of how we feel about this. And uh, division. All this division. This is not about any individual person, any individual organisation, any individual movement. This is about the future of our, of our country. It's not going to affect us massively. It's going to affect our children and their children. Because what's happening is, especially with this compact deal that's going through in the EU right now, which basically makes it illegal, illegal to criticise immigration. If you post something about immigration once this goes through, you will be taken off Facebook. It's it's actually legal to do it and you could be arrested for it. They are the the fourth Reich, right? Germany... Nazis were the Third Reich. They used tanks, guns and weaponry to try and push their, 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 what they wanted to do. What's now happened is they realise they can't go down that route because everyone's too clever. So what they're doing is they're creating a Fourth Reich within Europe. Dem- diplomacy. They're using it. They're using their, 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 the legal terms to silence people. If these, all these things go through, okay, it's over. If the Brexit deal goes through, we're stuck in Europe. It's over. If this compact deal goes through, we can't talk about immigration. We can't discuss all these immigrants coming in from different countries. Now, let me put something very clearly. I have got no problem with importing people that have come from countries, war-torn countries. Women and children should be at the front of the line. And I will happily, happily help them gain somewhere to live if they've been through what they've been through. But importing thousands upon thousands of grown, fully grown men into this country, that a lot of them aren't coming from those countries, is not what we want. We've got to be there on a knife and you've got to make sure that everyone brings someone. Bring someone. Even if they don't really want to turn up, make them come. They've got to understand how important this is for our future of our country. And if we don't do something right now and we don't be there on the ninth, on the ninth is the day that we can stand in central London. And I'm not going to be waving a UKIP like I said, yeah, yeah, Brexit, Brexit. Listen, we're going to make some serious noise. OK, I'm not advocating any violence. I'm not advocating any violence because that shouldn't be the case. There could be women and children there. But we need to make it extremely clear that we are not going to lay down and allow this to happen we are not going to sell our country to europe we went through two world wars this is the similar sort of thing but without weaponry we need to take control 
deal with the situation, turn up on the 9th, and let's change something. Get behind UKIP, use UKIP as our anchoring tool to get inside that parliament with MPs. It might not happen in six months, it might not happen in a year, but if we all get behind one person, and that at the moment is Gerard Batten, if we get behind him, we can get some leverage. He's within Europe, he's an MEP. He stands up in front of all these elites. He is the only one right now that has the leverage to change things. And that is what we've got to deal with. I see. I'm going to be on later. I'm going to give you everything you need to know about the march. Everything you need to know. So all you've got to do is please share this. I need everyone to know about what Leave Means Leave are trying to do. Please share this video. Get it out. Get the masses to realise what is going on. And let's change history. We did it for Tommy. At a very, you know, considering what it was for Tommy, you know, considering what Tommy and then, you know, Brexit, you know, Brexit's up here. This is serious. This is some serious stuff. Start realising it, come together. If you don't support Tommy, don't support UKIP, I don't care. Be there. If you don't support anyone you've ever spoken to on the internet, whatever, just be there for yourself. Be there for your families. Be there for your children. Be there for the fact your granddads were on the beaches of D-Day fighting and dying for our country to have this freedom and these lot are taking it away from us. I'll speak to you later on, guys.